Now look, Missouri, I've been incredibly patient with you for three weeks now. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's going on guys? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are somehow in a place that does not rain every single day for 22 days. If you've been following my channel, yeah, I've been in Missouri for a little bit here, and we are now on, for me, day 22 of not one day that has not rained, at least a little bit. Oh, we're actually flooding today. By the way, it's also kind of moist and hot here, uh, but it's, it's raining all, all, all the time. So I'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. That's how I'm uploading this video from this campground right here. Uh, Josh, Robert is camping. Also, we've got Jason and Candace down there with us still. But it hasn't really felt like camping because we've all just been pretty much staying in our RVs from time to time. We'll all go on Roberts or I don't know the the plan. I got a fishing license to fish, and you know it's just everything is just flooding. The river has been on flood watch for for quite some time. In fact, we're gonna go down there right now. But as a traveler who's been doing this for a while, you'd think I'd be able to avoid the rain. Here's the tricky part: is before we even left Robert's house. You can ask Robert, Josh, Jason, and Candace. They, they will all confirm this. We looked at the weather right here. We looked at the forecast. When there's 0% chance of rain, 0, 0, 0 for three days, that's a pretty good chance, right? It changed to 100% all three days, and we check out tomorrow. It never stopped raining. So I never would have made this trip had I known that it was just going to be raining. I, I didn't even go fishing once, so I, I still may later. I don't know. May just put on some rain pants because I'm I got all my rain gear, but let's go check out the flooding river down here. Uh, not all of the campsites are even open here along the actual river. This isn't the river. It may look like the river. The river's out there. But you see all this? Last night when the river crested, it actually flooded all the way up to that line right there. And now it's gone back down, so it's just kind of mushy through here. It was a a massive amount of rain and flooding that happened here. I just didn't want to come outside because it was miserable. Got some brave people over there fishing in the rain with their rain gear, so that's a thing. I was gonna, I was gonna run the RC. Here, here, here's the other thing. I'd also kind of made it a goal of mine, kind of like a, a New Year's resolution for 2021, to just try to just shake off some of the stuff that's out of my control and be happy. And the last three weeks have tested me greatly here on the road. Um, you know, the rain's not so bad, like, like we're going to go inside right now and I'm going to play some video games or, uh, watch some TV or something and, uh, just going to make the most of it. And, you know, from day to day, just a couple days here and there, that's fine. But when you're getting to the three week mark and you've traveled some 800 miles since leaving base camp all in Missouri, and I just, I haven't gotten one day without rain. It starts to just really wear you down as, as, as a traveler. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, I will get through this. The rain has to stop eventually. July and August, maybe. We'll see. I, I don't know anymore. Here's another thing to give you an idea of uh, how the rain is affecting people. This campground is currently 100% full. It has been full all weekend. And as you can see, well, there's only five of us here. So uh, the rain has kept a lot of people away. However, Robert just messaged me and said we're going to go fishing anyway. So I'm going to put on some rain pants. I'm not going to film it, but I already paid for my three-day license. <laughs> so I'm going to go fishing in the rain because, because. So I'll, I'll get back to you in a little bit once I, once I dry off from fishing, let you know how it went. Cats don't seem to mind much. Get this started, where's the party tonight? I feel 
Got the projector all set up. Hey, down in front! Just watching Dumb and Dumber uh, 2 right now, but getting this set up, we're gonna watch a movie, we're gonna pick a movie, and uh, the five of us are gonna watch a movie in my RV tonight to escape the rain. But let me pause this real quick. It actually stopped raining for a little bit, and I caught a fish, y'all! Yes! Didn't get it on video, though. <laughs> it always happens. Literally, always happens every time I catch a fish. Got a picture, though. Bank. That's right. Everybody's like, whatever. You, you, you bought it at the supermarket and held it. <laughs> it's all right. So it was a good day fishing. It was, it was fun to get out there. The rain did stop for a little bit, but I'm gonna make some margaritas, homemade. That's right. I'm gonna cut up and squeeze some fresh limes here for the juice. I've also got the Jose Cuervo tequila and some glasses and some sugar because that's how I roll. Robert's gonna bring over some ice later and we're gonna try some margaritas here and watch funny movies. All right, well, we're just watching Dumb and Dumber 2 right now. Getting the uh, glasses ready and then I'm gonna squish some of that juice there and then we'll pour in some tequila and some strawberry flavor. There we go, margarita in hand. We're watching the cat from outer space here. Oh yeah, party on guys. <laughs> that was the, everybody's first time seeing the cat from outer space. What'd you guys think? I thought it was good. really cute. It was cool. The 70s Disney. It's a dorky, yeah. dorky 70s Disney movie, but you gotta check it out. It was awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy the old campfire here and enjoy, relax out here. It's not raining guys. It's not raining. Robert's got a YouTube TV here in the bus. So we're in his bus. I'm gonna pan around. We got, we got Jasmine right here getting some sleep on. Is it rough? Is it pretty rough then? It's pretty rough. And then up here in the kitchen, buddy Josh is over here cooking some breakfast. Oh, that looks good, man. I see potatoes and bacon, lots and lots of bacon. Heck yeah. All right, Josh got the hash browns there, the bacon's done, the eggs are ready to go. We'll put some cheese on there, bud. Hell yeah. Yeah, bit, bit of a fly, fly problem here at the campground, but uh, we are doing everything to uh, make them an endangered species. Yes. <laughs> Look at my bug zapper. There's barely any metal left to even set it off because of all the flies. Good grief. Yeah, a lot of flies here. Oh, I didn't know the bottom unscrews. I don't know if I want to see this. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow, that was a lot of fly carcasses. Yeah, lovely, lovely. All right, Josh got the fire going. It's our, our last day here, everybody. Let's make the most of it. All right. Work smarter, not harder. Am I right? Saving your arm, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. See how these turned out. I got some uh, Mickey, and it, I guess it came with some mini mozzarella sticks too. And we'll just throw those in the fire. Okay, so those are the mini ones because they're bow tie. And Mickey, yeah, yeah, that does kind of look like a mini, a, a Mickey mozzarella stick. All right, I'm sold. Oh, sweet. Josh is whipping up some steaks here, right on the campfire. Man, oh man, you wouldn't like it. Oh, thanks, man. That's, that's gonna be good. All right, it's flippy flippy time. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I better just throw them on the ground. I better just throw them right on the ground right now. Yeah. All right, that's what dinner looks like. Don't touch my meat. Uh, I like mine, mine well done, so that's what we got. <laughs> she got him! She, oh, you let him do you at him! You can't toy with him. You gotta get him and kill him and eat him. Put him into Cat Murph. Yeah. How come you don't get those mosquitoes for me, Jax? You gotta get them skeeters like your sister. You lazy puss. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm gonna call her quits. We're gonna go have a campfire outside and then, oh, I'm sad. This is our last night at Cap Linger. <sighs> Creeping up on my last days in Missouri too. Um, yeah, so I gotta pack up the screen and my projector stuff and everything. All right, guys, tell you what, I'll have another video here soon. Thanks for joining, Jax, Tara, and thank you, Josh and Robert and K Jason and Candace. This has been so much fun, even with the rain. Man, I don't care. I'm good. I got rain gear. I got rain boots. I'm ready for whatever this world throws at us. All right? Be well, guys. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.